Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with a quadratic pattern. We've already done question one and two here, so in this video we're going to cover 4.3. So I'm gonna write 4.3 out there. I've already done the work in terms of building out our quadratic sequence, looking at the second difference, looking at the, looking at the common second difference, looking at the first difference, as well as de developing our general term. So the third question they've asked is specifically which term of the pattern will a value will have a value of 508. So they've given us TN. So all we're going to do is plug TN in there. So it's going to be 508 is going to be 3N squared minus 60N plus 301. Okay. So now what do we do? We need to notice firstly that we've got an N squared, which means we're probably going to have two answers here. So the first thing we need to clear out the left hand side, which gives us zero and we'll be left with 3n squared minus 60n and then minus 508 on the right hand side will give us minus 207. Now what I don't like is I've got massive numbers here so it's quite tricky to factorize that without using a calculator or without using the quadratic equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything by 3 which is a common factor, the highest common factor. So that's going to give me n squared minus 20n minus 69. Right, now I can factorize it out of my head, which is quite cool. So we can say, right, we need two signs that are different. We can use n squared, so it's n, n here, because we don't have a, a, a coefficient, well, you know, our coefficient's one over there. And then we can find two numbers that multiply to 69 and subtract to 20. So after a bit of trial and error, you should come up with the two numbers, which are 23 and 3. So 23 times 3 gives us 69, and then 23 minus 3 gives us 20. And we know the bigger number goes to where the minus sign is. So that's going to be 23 over there and 3 over there. So that means n is equal to minus 3 or n is equal to 23. Now we know we can't get a negative, we can't get a negative for a question like this, so it would be not applicable. Remember, we can't have a negative term, so or position in the sequence, they can only be positive. So our answer here is n is equal to 23. A very important question to get right, because this will come up in most of your tests and exams. A very special thank you to our sponsor for making this video possible. Remember to read all about them in the description below. Also, head over to our website, check out more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, stay epic.